tail on a sort of a simple type of strip wing on this flight. Uh, the example I'm copying it from here in the Farlow's book, uh, the tips of the, f the feathers seem to have been fairly ragged. So I'm going to use this uh, rather than going for a sort of a premium white tipped thing. Uh, very often you will find turkey tip feathers when they're white doing this sort of a damaged end and I think it's just part of the rearing of them. So I'm using a center type tail here and I'm going to take out a thin strip for each side. There were some bits where the tips were totally broke off there. Going for something fairly slim here. And I'm going to take sort of matching thickness of a strip off for the far side. <coughs> so this uh, this section actually has a little damaged bit in the middle there. So I'm going to take that out. Split it. Use the point of the scissors. Separate out that fibre. All the tips and pull that out. And then it's the same idea as marrying. So I have two sections here. They're lined up for their tips. And if I just stroke them into a curve one way and back the other way, just wiggle them. That should send their zips past each other and hopefully it should lock into position. Give us this. We'll take our one for the other ring, set the two up to, together. Now you can count barbs if you want. I don't tend to do that. What I do is put the two together and then when I look at it this side there's a couple extra on the far one. So I'll just hold them together and then just put my scissors through that and separate it out. And that will make me two strips the same. Yeah. I'm going to take these out sort of towards the length of the tail here and set them up on top. I'm going to slide my scissors in here and just slightly separate that out into like a little V. So, holding them for position, I'll now change hands, get the two top fibers aligned and now I'm going to wet my finger and let spit sort of soak in there. And I'm going to take my tying thread up between finger and thumb and make a loop. So I'm now catching it between finger and thumb here. Then I'm going to bring that down it's now hanging underneath. I then bring that up again and then I pull upwards. Now it does tend to rotate a little bit so I'm just going to twist that. Hopefully it should now be sitting on top. Now I'll pull a little hump into that and stroke these backwards and down and that should give me a nice low wing set. 